Today I've been lifting the carpet in Erin's room and then we're going to dismantle the bed so we can get the walls all painted. These haven't been done since I moved in, before I moved in actually because this was my stepdaughter's room and then Erin moved in as well. Um, I've got more stuff on the wall there. Another painting there that Matt did. So we're going to just magnolia everything um, and uh, paint the floor. We'll probably need to sand it first because it's really messy. So four bags. Three have got carpet in them. No, actually, sorry, two have got carpet. One's got stuff, old kitchen stuff, and one's just has a junk from. Um, what's Erin's room? Uh, Matt's car's registered to take. Take it all to the dump on Saturday since lockdown. Um, since the dump's opened again after lockdown, you're only allowed one visit a week and you have to register your car. Hey, Curly. Hey, Curly. It's really frosty still. Obviously, no snow. Not lucky enough for snow. No, oh, big stretchy kitty. Good boy. But we have had a lot of frost. I think it's only about maybe one degree of that here today. Right. Better get back in. So I've got to get the last bit of carpet from under the bed and dismantle the bed. In between packing and getting the rooms all ready, I am busy crocheting, using up all these different balls of yarn I've got rather than taking it with me. Um, and it's also helping me relax. So this is, I am only on the, the third row of this pattern. And I'll show you a completed one. Here's Bob wearing one I've completed. It's stitched at the back to make a hood and then threaded through these little ties because you can wear this multiple ways. You can this is a big one so you can double up this bit like a scarf or you can wear it um there's a way you can wear it a bit like a vest. But I'm quite pleased I'm quite pleased with my colours. This was again just balls of yarn that I had a lot of them are sort of just singular balls of um like I only had one of one of the purple or one of the green I had a couple of this one but yeah that's it clever boy spreading that pizza spreading that pizza is that the chicken one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just a wee... Oh, yeah, then that's fine. Right, is that you spreaded your sauce? Yeah. Okay. Sauce? <gasps> there we go. You... Oh, you, that's it. You sprinkle your cheesy, cheesy nuts on. No, just do it with your hands so you can speak because you've got to make sure it's all over. It's not all to be in one big lump, is it? Mm hmm. Whoa, that one we did. Then mummy will make the pizza. I ate pizza. Yeah, you're making your first pizza. Yes, I'm making my sauce pizza. And it's a, a gluten and dairy free base and dairy free cheese. This cheese is from Asda and personally I think it's the best tasting of the dairy free cheeses. Get some help baby boy. You okay? Let me get some. Get that some. This pizza is so good and delicious. I hope you like it since you kind of made it yourself. Now you can maybe knock, knock in the last bit. I think that's going to be enough cheese. You might not even eat it all. Mm. 
<laughs> the mummy will make one for her and daddy. Yes. Right, good boy. This is the room. Okay. Close. No, it's fine. It'll have to go in the oven now. Yeah. But I don't think it's quite warm enough yet. Okay? Yes. You can go sit down and I'll tell you when it's ready, darling. Good okay. boy. And I will eat it. You're going to eat some? I hope so. Yes. <laughs> good boy. Well, move your move your thing over a bit because it's it's burning. Oh, actually, go in that cupboard, Lily, and get Mummy out a chopping board. Chopping board. Right here, I'll get this one. That's okay. Okay. And do you want to get yourself a plate? Yes. And Mummy will slice up this yes. pizza. We had a little bit of snow last night. I'm. Quite surprised to be honest, as we rarely get snow here. Um, I was supposed to be going to the shops today. Uh, well, I need to post two parcels and go to Lidl's, but I might leave it till tomorrow because I also have to get Erin's triple bunk dismantled and get all the r rubbish and stuff into Matt's car. Here I have some of my boxes. I've been packing up my books and I am just in at the back of the sofa tidying it up. I've pulled out all the uns uh, puzzles, uh, puzzles and games and our family games. So I've got them in a big box at the moment. There's my tables that I got from my my grandma. Uh, the other ones, the small the smallest ones got my um, sewing machine on it. And I'm going to put them all back together. And I'm actually going to put the boxes at the back of the sofa. So my books and the box with games can just go at the back of the sofa out of the way where my tables usually go. Because um, I don't fancy carting all these upstairs to just cart them back down again. Because I'm already at four boxes. Um, and I'll easily use another box for them and my books that are in the kitchen. And hopefully after I've done this, though, I can maybe get the living room looking a bit more normal. So, this was a... Actually, it wasn't a triple bunk. This was just a double, um, a normal bunk bed. And we made it into a triple bunk for Shannon. Um, it wasn't quite double size, but one of the small doubles. So Matt made... The big slatted base and gotta get it all unbolted. I've done quite a bit of it now actually. Your phone's behind everything. Your phone's behind everything, I know. This is where I store some extra food. Some of the tins. <laughs> so I've just got to take the ends off and then we've got to start getting out to the car. The wood bit though I think will probably dismantle more. And maybe use it for a fire in the fire pit. Yeah. Because I think we got rid of all the other wood. And then Matt needs to take the shelves down as well. Because he made he made those shelves and put sockets in for the girls. So each one had about, there we go. Each one had a double socket for phones and lights and that kind of thing. We're doing quite good actually today. I've already packed up Four, four boxes of books and a big box of games. This certainly makes it easier and quicker. Because I've got to remove all of those. Same on that side. And then I remembered I have my drill. It's been scraping off. Loose stuff, and he's found an excellent way to get it all off the carpet. Mm. I don't know why it was so loose. Well, uh, well, don't be making more messes now. You're trying to be cleaning it up. Mm. The brush isn't doing a very good job, and Matt's realised the scraper does a good job. <laughs> Looks quite weird not seeing the shelves there anymore. Oh, 
so I'm working in Erin's room today. I've got this bit of floor clear and I'm going to try putting on some floor paint. So you can see I've scraped a little bit of the walls as well. I've got flaky walls, which Matt will... He does that in the evening. He does the polyfiller and stuff and I do some of the painting. I'm a bit shocked. I've managed to give myself a blister right there. That's pulling up um, other little tacky things that they used, little staples they used for the carpet. And so I'm going to go and get the paint brushes and I think I'm just going to kind of work my way along one bit, of, maybe one, one board at a time, maybe two, and hopefully get all the way to this one. And we can leave it to dry and then move I've had to move Erin's shelves there. She's got a bed down from upstairs. We've got the wardrobes over there. I'm totally filled with junk. Um, it's a bit hard to be in lockdown as we can't... We're limited to, to taking stuff to the rubbish dump once a week. Um, and obviously the charity shops are all shut. So um, That is making things a little bit difficult. But let's go and get the floor paint. This is the paint we chose. It's actually it's actually a bit more grey than I'd hoped. I thought it was going to be a bit more creamy looking. And we'll see how it goes down. I've never I've never painted floor paint before. But I have done gloss, so I'm assuming it will be quite similar. This is all I'm doing today. Quite pleased with that. I counted there's 34 boards in this room and I've done 10. So, good start.